think the hatch is probably right about... Eh, we'll call it maybe possibly here-ish. Let's find out. Oh my... And we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lagan. This is Grounded and no time for nonsense. We're under attack. I don't know. I, You know what? I can guarantee this is going to be red ants. I know exactly what I did. I went over to their nest and I punched about a hundred of them to death. More on that in just a moment. But let's see what we've got coming at us. Oh yeah, it's the little red ants. Well, good luck, boys. You're gonna get destroyed. Look at you, climbing on spikes. Is that a good idea? No, it's not. You're dead. Now they may go over to my zip line tower and attack the stairs. I don't really care about, they'll break the first set of stairs and then not be able to get up to the tower. So we should be good. Oh, look at this guy, yeah. He's going around the side, the spikes will get him. You should have seen me, it was glorious. I literally, and I mean it, I punched like a hundred red, ant, red ants to death. It took like 30 minutes, but it was totally worth it. And like I said, I'll explain more about that in just a minute. Let's get this raid over with first. Put the turret to work. Here comes another one, fire! Hit him in the face, in the face, and fire, boom. Oh, Spike's got you. Those spikes are working really well. I like it. Comes another one. I am so glad we got these turrets figured out exactly where we wanted them at. Because this is perfect. You know, I'm ricocheting my rocks off of the ants and they're coming back and actually hitting my wall and hurting the wall. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but that's a thing that's happening. There's definitely an ant on the side of the house. I'm gonna have to go over there and kill him. Here, let's go check it out. There's definitely one over here somewhere doing so. Oh, you got over the wall. You're breaking my mushrooms. Bad. How'd you do that? Dead now. No worries. Ow. All right, come on, boys. Knock it off. Knock it off. You gave it your best, but your best wasn't even close enough. Base defense. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do that. Perfect. So why, oh, why was I over there harassing the ants by punching them to death? Well, because all I plan on doing today is going over to the Broodmother and killing her with my bare hands. We're going fist only Broodmother boss fight today. And there is a mutation called Little Fist and it has three phases. So I had to kill 50 creatures with only my fist. Oh God, ow. To uh, get to phase two, or no, 100 to get to phase two and then 200 to get to phase three. And I figured, where is there a large concentration of pretty chill, easy to kill bugs. And that would have been, of course, the red ant hill. So that's what I did. It's done. And they got really mad and just gave and attacked the base. As you can see, I suppose I deserved it, but whatever. So getting little fist prepared for the brood mother fist only boss fight that we're gonna be doing wasn't the only thing I need to do before we go over there and fight. I've got a grocery list. And of course the backyard is our grocery store. So we're going shopping. And the first thing on the grocery list is to get some tough gunk. I wanna make a recipe. I wanna cook a meal uh, before we go into the fight and I need some tough gunk, I'm all out of it. So we're gonna try to get that. And I believe that most of the bugs in the upper backyard do give you the tough gunk. So that's where we're going, upper backyard. We'll kill some roly polies, some of the spicy larvas, stuff like that. Just get a handful of that. I'm also gonna need to kill some uh, aphids and not cook them. So just raw aphids I'm gonna need as well. Uh, for one of the recipes that I'm doing and I'm going to need some muscle sprouts so We're gonna have to go down into the biodome and see if they've grown back yet because I am all out of muscle sprouts And those give us a bonus when we're crafting our smoothies So definitely need those. I think this guy right here probably gives tough gunk. Let's find out. Hey roly-poly If you don't mind, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna smash you Okay, and then I'm gonna bash you. I don't appreciate what you just did there Yeah Roly-poly down Tough gunk? Yeah, we got four tough gunk from him, so that is perfect. Good start. How about this little nuisance down here? I hate these guys. Let's hit him with some of our arrows and see if he gives up tough gunk. I'm pretty sure like everything, maybe except for like the, the mites over here and the black, the spare black ants, but I'm pretty sure even these guys will give gunk. Didn't that time. But I need some acid glands anyways. Not for today, but just in general. We'll kill some of these regardless. Pop up out of your hole. Get up here surface so I can bury you again got him tough gunk 
Yeah, see, we got some from him. We got one tough gunk from him. So, roly polies are definitely giving us more. So, let's go find another roly poly. Ow! Another ladybird larva. Dead ladybird larva, of course. All I needed was, I think, five tough gunk to cook what I'm going to cook. But I might as well grab some extra while I'm over here. Couldn't hurt. Of course, unless I die doing it, in, in which case it did hurt. Slap, smack, smash. Now, watch out. Watch out. You're not getting me this time. Didn't think so. Get point. Dead. Yeah, another two tough gunk. By the way, I think the two-year anniversary of this game is coming in July. I would strongly suspect we will get an update for the birthday anniversary of the game in July. So I don't think we're going to have to wait all the way until the 1.0 release, which is coming out in September for our next big update. I think we'll get one in July. So after we do this Broodmother episode, we still got two more mixers to do and maybe another couple of fun episodes mixed in there with those two mixers. And then we're gonna have to take a break until probably, I, like I said, I'm guessing July. There should be another roly poly up here somewhere. And then July will get an update and then definitely September when the full release of the game is out. Oh baby, we're jumping in hard. Oh, I think the roly poly is right over this hill. There he is. Hey man, I just need your stuff, your tough gun. Give it to me, give it to me. You stand at no chance. You know, at one point I was terrified of these guys. At one point I was absolutely terrified. They're so easy to kill now. This club of the mother demons, it's insane. All right, I got 10 tough gunk. That just leaves me needing to kill some aphids and bringing their bodies back home and not cooking them. And then I also need those muscle sprouts. I switched over to my swimmies. And I think we'll zip line and hopefully drop right into the pond here where the secret hatch is to get back into the laboratory, the, the biodome. Of course, that's where we'll find the mussel sprouts if they have grown back. I think the hatch is probably right about, eh, we'll call it maybe possibly here-ish. Let's find out. Oh my God, no! Uh, oh God, oh God, oh no, it's gonna eat us. It's totally gonna eat us. Oh, here's a hatch, maybe this will work. Please open, please open, open. I don't think the fish is coming anymore, we're good. Would you open already? Open, I see that you wanna open. Oh, the fish is here. Oh, oh my God. Well, it definitely wasn't the entrance to the biodome because here's the biodome right here and the hatch should be on the other side of it. And have the mussel sprouts grown back yet? Oh, they have. Look at them. They're all around the room in a circle. Excellent. We got to get those. Yoink, 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 yoink. All right. I think I grabbed all of them. So we got them all out of there. Perfect. Restocked up on those, which are super helpful with the smoothies, like I was saying earlier. So we'll go back towards the house and see if we could find some aphids to kill. And that'll be our shopping list complete. So that was our first base raid that we got from actually making the bugs mad. So that was pretty cool. We've had some base raids because I used the waft emitter, but those don't count. That was actually legit and we did a good job. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna get a couple of things cooking because these take the longest to do and then we'll work on the smoothies. But I wanna make a Black Ox burger because of the damage resist we'll get and we're gonna need some damage resist while trying to punch the brood mother to death. So let's get that cooking. Then I'm thinking the fungus spacho, the fungus spacho, because it's going to give us attack stamina. That sounds good too. Okay, how about green machine? That's going to give us hyper stamina. So let's make two of those. All right, we'll make some fuzz on the rocks as well. That's going to be our heels. And because we're going to be using the muscle sprouts as the base, that's going to give us the extra meaty health bonus. So bigger health bonus. Make some boost juice as well. Oh, that's what I need the aphid meat for. Yeah, that's going to give us max stamina. So we'll definitely make that, but I got to go get some uh, aphids real quick. There's one right there. Missed him. Second try is the charm, as they say. Missed him. Third try is obviously the charm. Missed him. Fourth try is the one that always hits him. Just like I said. Got him. Hey, another aphid. Got him. I think that's all we need. I think it was two for the smoothie, and we got two. So let's head back home. All right, boost juice. No, it was just one, so we can make two of these. Liquid rage. Oh, yeah. Let me get that. That's going to be plus attack. Then we've got human food, which is also damage resist. That'll stack with the Black Ox burger we're cooking, so perfect. All right, so let's talk about mutations first. I guess we need to get rid of barbarians since we're not using our club. We get rid of blade master because we're not using a sword. Probably get rid of parry master. I am going to be using a shield, but I can 
I could probably do just fine without parry master. So we'll get rid of that. Keeping on meat shield because this gives us a max health bonus. Definitely keeping on coup de gras because that's our critical hit chance. We're going to need some critical hits if we're all using our fist. Speaking of fist, there's little fist. It is at phase three of three. And this is going to give us a damage bonus when swinging our fist when only using our fist. Um, and I think it goes 25, 50, 75%. So we have a chance at a 75% damage bonus using our fist. We're gonna use Truffle Tussle as well, which every so often when I punch, it's gonna do an explosion. So we will have exploding fist from time to time. And of course, we're gonna use Mithridatatatism, uh, obviously for the poison resist. So we'll activate that as well. Grab my food out of the oven, almost forgot that. Plenty of heals, both bandage, so we'll get a constant tick of health and the smoothies so we can like, you know, heal up in big chunks as well. I've got buffs on buffs. We'll be using the shield to block some of the uh, spider attacks and then just counter with some nice punches. That's the plan, we'll see how it goes. I don't even know if this is possible. But uh, let's, fingers crossed, let's go kill the Broodmother. All the way over to the hedge, we've got to go to find the Broodmother's lair. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you are enjoying the content. Let's try to get this one out there, especially if I actually do it. Let's make a deal. If I do it, drop a like on the video. Thanks. And if I fail miserably, you can leave a pity like if you want to, but not obligated. Okay, we're here and I've set my spawn point right in front of the Broodmother's lair. In case I die, we can get our stuff back really quick and easy and maybe even try it again. But I don't think I'm going to die. I think I've got this. Like, I mean, I don't know how much damage I'm going to be doing to this thing. This could take a while. But I think I've got enough, like, heals to at least live for a while and give this a really good try. So good luck to me, I guess. Here we are once again inside the lair of the Broodmother. Now, the first time we fought her, of course, was with the spicy Coltana before the bug strike back update when i used to get full poison resist against uh venomous spiders but now i don't have that i get 75 percent resist so could be a little bit tougher of a fight and obviously i'm just using my fist so it's going to be a tougher fight but here we go let's put down the broodmother blt wish me luck here she comes i forgot to take any of my smoothies but that's all right we'll take them now it's not a problem Gonna be a kind of a problem. Right, easy, bird mother. I haven't eaten my food yet. I still gotta eat my food. Okay, take it. I just want to eat my food. Okay, I got both my foods in. We're good. Let's fight. Get punched. Yeah, we're barely doing it. Oh, there we go. Big explosions. Big explosions. Here we go. Yeah, we're doing some damage. It's not the best damage in the world. Oh, there goes my stamina, though. Good lord, it went down quick. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty tough with the stamina drain like that. I am using heavy armor, which is affecting the stamina. Regen and drain, I believe. There were those exploding fists. Gotta like that, that's helpful. If I can get an exploding fist at the same time as a critical hit, I imagine that'll do a big chunk off the spider. Easy blocks, come on. You have to do better than that, Broodmother. You might wanna start calling in some backup. Actually, don't call any backup in. I don't want any of your little spiderlings and orb weaver juniors messing up this perfect run so far. Doing all right with the blocks too. I've gotten quite a few perfect parries. There's another one right on cue. Woo! What you want to do? Oh, you got little, oh, spiderlings are in. Okay. All right. Oh, ow. I've been po Okay, now we're poisoned. Now it begins. Now it begins. Well, let's go. I don't know when she starts doing her debuff screams, but that won't be fun either because you barely do any damage to her when she's got those debuffs going. Poison would wear off starting to scare me a little bit a poison oh there's her scream so i think yeah i think my attack damage is down now until that little emblem below my health and stuff wears off and i think i have bad stamina right now too not sure i don't know what her debuffs are exactly Nice block. 
Nice block. There we go. Come on. It's like hitting a speed bag at the boxing gym. Ow. Except this one has teeth and four eyeballs. Maybe six. Keep it going. Got her down to about a quarter of her health now. It's going good, but here comes the Orb Weaver Jr.'s Witch. I have to remind you, also have a poison attack. Not great. Get in there. I think you just need to stay on her. And try not to focus on any of her minions. Let them do what they're going to do. Oh, we almost got her. Wait. What? What happened? Oh, my God. I did a huge chunk of health somewhere in there, and I totally missed it. But, ladies and gentlemen, I just beat the brood mother with my fist. I can't even believe it. I mean, totally, I can believe that. And what did you think was going to happen? I wasn't going to do it? What do you want, Orb Weaver Jr.? Huh? Did you not see? Did you not get word from the other spiders what just happened? Atop the hedge? What I'm capable of doing? You lost your mind? I don't have any stamina. Otherwise, I'd be teaching you a lesson right now. School's in now. Lesson over. Oh, I just got a gold Orb Weaver Jr. card. Awesome. I'm glad he followed me home. Just a quick update on my gold cards. No, I totally forgot to peep the brood mother. That's the one card we're missing is the brood mother. But I've gotten quite a few golds uh, over, uh, over, you know, just running around the backyard, killing stuff, doing all my grindy stuff. So got a lot more to get, but we just got that Orb Weaver Jr. cross off the list. What's up, Dante? Dante made his way up to the balcony. These guys just kind of go where they want to. They're my friends. They live with me. I've got Dante up here. And of course, how could we forget Mike? Mike. Yep, Mike. Mike and Dante just wander around the house wherever they want to. But all in a day's work for little Pete in the backyard. All we did, ladies and gentlemen, was defend our house viciously against the great horde of red ants that came to attack us. And then all we did was go into the broodmother's lair and slap her around a good bit with our bare hands. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. We had a deal. And as always, this has been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.